Now for the next part, we need to find the probability that there are at least two defective components in the box. In other words, that's going to be the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2. And we could work out probability x equals 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on, all the way up to 10. But obviously that's going to take too long. So what we would want to do is do 1 minus the probability that x equals 0 and the probability that x equals 1. So if we put this in brackets here, we can just add the probability that x equals 1 to the probability x equals 0. Now that means that we need to use the formula here for each of those probabilities. So probability that x equals 0 is going to be 10c0. Probability of success is 0.01 and that's raised to the power 0 and probability of failure 0.99 that's to the power 10. And probability of x equaling 1, well we've just worked that out up here. I'll take the unrounded value there though 0.091351 and so on. Now if you work this out 10c0 is 1, anything to the power 0 here is 1, so it's really just simply 0.99 to the power 10 you could type into your calculator. Now if you work out all of this, okay, you should find that you end up with 0.0042669 and so on, which when rounded to say four decimal places is 0 0.0043, okay? to four decimal places, four DP.